So here are 10 money hacks for 2017. Automate your savings like you do your bill paying. Have money go directly from your paycheck to your savings account and automatically pulled into accounts like an emergency fund, an IRA, a college savings account, and more. The one third challenge. Save a third of everything you make and invest it for yourself. Max out your 401k, your annual IRA contribution, and get that emergency fund fully funded. Think about how much money you'll save. Keep your spending to just a third or less of your income. Save the other third for essentials like taxes, rent, and things like that. Enlist a financial mentor. Find a financially savvy friend or a coworker or a financial advisor or even join our weekly financial tweet chat, hashtag Winnie Sun, to get you mindful of your money and comfortable talking about your savings. Label your credit cards. We all have credit cards that we use for specific purposes like airline miles, cash back, but who can keep track of all of them? Instead, get a label maker out and label them so when you're pumping gas, you pull out the right card. Round up your mortgage payment every month, or better yet, take one extra payment, divide it by 12, and add it to your payment. For many of us, our home accounts for our biggest investment. Well, if that's the case, why don't you get your mortgage paid down faster rather than just keeping that money that isn't working hard enough for you, and I'm talking to your bank and checking accounts here. Set up a goal to spend 20% less than what you spent last year. Pull up all your bank accounts, your checking, your credit cards, and tally up how much you spent in 2016. Credit card companies are great at getting you this information in their year-end statements, or easier yet, Take your total W-2, minus out your taxes, minus out your savings for the year, and what's your number? Now take 20% of that. Make that the number you're going to sock away and save. The one in and one out rule. If you buy something new, you need to sell something of comparable value. What this helps you do is recognize how much you're spending, reduce clutter, and enjoy something new without hurting your savings or spending strategy. Spend time on a hobby with your friends. Many of us associate with getting together with our friends as dinners, drinking, or a combination of both. Instead, Look at activities that get you all together with minimal financial impact. It could mean bowling, game night at a friend's place, getting the kids together at a park, beach volleyball, or even joining a tweet chat on your computer. When you factor in food, gratuity, you can see how the money can add up just so quick. So how about that home game of Price is Right? How about an annual garage cleanup day? When you go through your garage or closet or any other area of your house where you store your non-essentials, you realize how much waste you've accumulated. This also translates into dollars. Get your trusty smartphone out and dedicate a couple weekends to selling stuff on Craigslist or eBay. Then take that money and treat yourself with half of it. If you sell enough, you might even be able to afford a mini vacation, who knows? But most importantly, you'll get a feel of what not to buy in the future. Meet with your accountant in November or December. Too many people wait until March, April, maybe even June to meet with their accountant and get their taxes done. So why not plan early? Make a meeting before year end. Your accountant can coach you on any potential last minute tax deductions. You know, the whole solar, charity donation, etc. things. And what about talking about gains and losses on other things you own? What about gifting to your family? All things best to be discussed when you're not stressed out and in a hurry that the tax filing IRS scary deadline is upon us. By mid-January, you'll have all your financial statements and your accountant isn't in the ocean of returns yet. Get your taxes done, wait for your refund if you have one, and done.